Hey guys, today we're going to take a quick look at uh, recording Spotify using Audio Hijack Pro. So if you're using the free version of Audio Hijack Pro, you'll only be able to record up to 10 minutes at a time. It's not limited by the amount of times you can use it. So just click later and then uh, before we hijack, just go into recording here and check custom format. If you're using a free Spotify account, your bit rate's going to be 192. So you might as well match this on here. There's no point going higher and you certainly don't want to go lower. Keep all the quality settings as high. I would just copy these settings if you're streaming free. And I think if you're using paid Spotify, it does go up to 320 or 256, so you can put those up. Okay, so you make sure Spotify is highlighted, click hijack. Okay, and this is going to load up Spotify. And then uh, you want to line up your track. So I've already, there's already one open here. And make sure on the bar that's back to the start and then you're going to use this record button it's really like an old cassette recording you have to do everything manually to save the song you can either hit record and play at the same time though there's sometimes a bit of a delay in record in which case you might slightly cut off the start so what I do is hit record first and then click play now you can listen to the song as you play any other programs including the volume control aren't going to affect the recording because it's coming directly from the application but if you overrun the hijack in the demo mode by 10 minutes, then you will get a fuzz over the song. Once the song's finished, you can either hit split, you can click the record button again, or pause. Usually what I'll do is hit record. That will just stop the recording. So you do that after the song. Pause button obviously pauses the recording and then you can continue it later. Not really sure why you want to use that in this scenario. Or you can click split. It stops the recording and simultaneously starts a new one. So if you've got the paid version of uh, Audio Hijack Pro, that might be a good option for you. Um, but you have to kind of be there and doing it. So as soon as the song finishes, you have to click split at the right time. You don't want to cut into the next song or chop off the end of the old song. So as well as having to get songs manually like this, once they've come through and you've got the audio file, you then have to put in all the metadata as manually as well. Unless you've got some kind of automated program to get that for you. So everything like the artist name, song name, and artwork you're gonna to have to go and get that as well so this really isn't something you should use to get your music from but it's kind of handy if you've just got say one or two songs where you know like say you've got a CD and they're skipping you have paid for them already then this is a good way to sort of get your music back so the song is coming to an end you would usually hit the record button now okay but imagine that you've missed that and now this adverts come on and that's kind of ruined your song so we'll stop there so that's the song recorded and that's about as far as most of the other tutorials on YouTube go. But we're going to exit out of there and I'll just show you where the song is. If you've got a music folder then it'll automatically create a folder called Audio Hijack. And in here you'll have the song that you recorded. You might notice the bitrate's lower, that's just because it's a variable bitrate. So what we're going to do is load a program called Audacity. And this is a free program too. And you can just drag the file into there and it'll give you a map of the file you recorded. So this last step with Audacity is an optional one. It's mainly if you've just got a large uh, gap of space at the start or you've cut into something else at the end. And just use the zoom tool and just click in a couple of times and then go back to the select tool here. You need to drag it to the end of the song, obviously, and then cut back here. So you see the song fades out and then we've got this ad come in here. So you can just cut it to somewhere between there. Once you've done that, you can again check that you've put it in the right place by hitting play and then once you've got that you can hit file export selection which is the area you selected it will give you an option to save that mp3 yeah so you go into options and just check you've got the right settings so 170 to 210 that's right for 192 bit rate so you just hit ok and then you, you can put in your metadata here or in your mp3 uh, player and you can also cut out this uh, audio hijack encoded by label. If you're using iTunes you can edit the start and finish times of a song. I think that's rounded to the nearest second and also if you've got a load of crap on the song it's not really that good because you're kind of wasting space. So that's how you use Audio Hijack Pro and Audacity to save songs from Spotify. That's the last video for this year and there'll be lots more tutorials, unboxings and that kind of thing next year. Cheers guys!